Hello friends welcome to Football Fever. From now on we are starting a series in which we will try to tell you history of football clubs when they were established and until now what interesting changes these clubs had made. We will select random clubs and try to tell you about your favorite football clubs history so don't miss out our series. In this video we will show you little about football clubs history, list of clubs, and some interesting and informative slides. Let's move on to our topic. The oldest football clubs trace their origins to the mid-19th century, a period when football evolved from being a casual pastime to an organized, mainstream sport. The identity of the oldest football clubs in the world, or even in a particular country, is often disputed or claimed by several clubs, across several codes of football. While the first clubs emerged in Britain, possibly as early as the 15th century, these are poorly documented and defunct. For example, the records of the Brewers Company of London between 1421 and 1423 mention the hiring out of their hall by the football players for 20 pence, under the heading Trades and Fraternities. The Football Club, active 1824-41 of Edinburgh, Scotland, is the first documented club dedicated to football, and the first to describe itself as a football club. The only surviving club rules forbade tripping, but allowed pushing and holding and the picking up of the ball. Other documents describe a game involving 39 players and such kicking of shins and such tumbling. Sheffield FC in Sheffield, England, is the world's oldest surviving independent football club, that is, the oldest club not associated with an institution such as a school, hospital or university. Sheffield Football Club is the oldest football club in the world it was founded in 1857. They currently compete in the Northern Premier League Division 1 South East. Sheffield FC initially played games under the Sheffield rules and did not officially adopt the FA rules until 1878. In 1855, members of the Sheffield Cricket Club organized informal kickabouts without any official rules. Subsequently, two members, Nathaniel Creswick and William Prest, formed the Sheffield Football Club. The inaugural meeting of the club took place on the 24th of October 1857 at Parkfield House in the suburb of Highfield in Sheffield. Initially, Sheffield FC games were played among club members themselves and took the format of married v singles or professionals v the rest. Creswick and Prest were responsible for drawing up the club's rules of play which were decided upon at the club's AGM on 21 October 1858, and published the following year. They were referred to as the Sheffield Rules, and were the first detailed set of rules of football to be published by a football club. At the time, before the formation of the Football Association, FA, many different kinds of football were popular in England. For example, each of the various public schools played football according to their own individual rules, and these varied widely. The Sheffield rules were later adopted by the Sheffield Football Association when it was formed in 1867. Sheffield's near neighbour, Hallam FC was formed in 1860 and in the same year the two clubs first met each other in a local derby which is still contested today. They became members of the Football Association on 30 November 1863 but continued to use their own set of rules. On 2 January 1865, the club played its first fixture outside Sheffield against Nottingham, playing 18 aside under Nottingham rules. By this time the club had decided only to play teams outside Sheffield in order to seek a bigger challenge. On 31 March 1866, Sheffield played a London team under FA rules at Battersea Park. The game, played as an 11 aside, was won by London by two goals and four touches down to nil. However the matter of rules remained a problem with Sheffield clubs continuing to play by their own rules. A number of rule proposals by the club were rejected by the FA in February 1867 and the London Committee were reluctant to commit to further fixtures over Sheffield's refusal to play strictly to FA rules. 
Sheffield clubs finally adopted the FA rules in 1878. In 1873 the club entered the FA Cup for the first time, their first ever tie in the competition, against Shropshire Wanderers, being decided after a replay by a coin toss, the only time in the history of the competition that a tie has been decided in this way. They would reach the fourth round of the competition in 1877-78 and 1879-80. Their reluctance to play against local clubs led to the formation of Thursday Wanderers in 1876, a team of players registered to Sheffield who wished to play in the Sheffield Challenge Cup. The Wanderers operated from 1876 to 1879, winning the cup in their final year. Sheffield's decline from the top echelon of football began with the introduction of professionalism in July 1885, with the amateurs of Sheffield failing to compete with professional teams, losing heavily that year to Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest, and Notts County. After the legalisation of professionalism, the staunchly amateur Sheffield suggested to the FA the creation of a cup exclusively for amateur clubs. The FA Amateur Cup was inaugurated in 1893 and Sheffield themselves won the competition in 1904. They joined their first league competition in 1889 when entering the Midland League, but left after just one season when they finished bottom of the table. They were also founder members of the original Yorkshire League in 1898, but again they spent just a single season in the competition. After the turn of the century, Sheffield competed mainly in local leagues. By 1925-26 they were competing in the Sheffield Association League. Fifty years after leaving the competition, the club rejoined the Yorkshire League, in 1949. 2007 was a momentous year for Sheffield FC as they entered their 150th year. They finished as runners-up in the league to secure promotion to the Northern Premier League, NPL, for the first time. In October 2007, FIFA president Sepp Blatter attended the club's anniversary dinner, and the following month the club played anniversary celebration matches against Internazione and Ajax at Bramall Lane. Football legend Pelé was guest of honour at the first game and was introduced to the teams and the fans before the game. The match ended 5-2 to Inter, with 18,741 supporters attending the match. Inter's side included World Cup winner Marco Matuazzi and a young Mario Balotelli. As part of his visit, Pelé opened an exhibition which included the first public showing in 40 years of the original handwritten rules of football. Let's check out contributions of Sheffield FC for football as Sheffield FC fan. 1857, the first team of the world. Sheffield Football Club is founded on October 24, by the pioneers, Nathaniel Creswick and William Prest, who wanted to build a community for the game of football. A game for young and old people alike to play in their free time. The club's committee decides to develop a new set of rules and laws for the game of football. 1859, Mob Football. Starting with the foundation of the club in 1857, the club's committee studies the various rules and codes of mob football which was often played at universities. After two years of experiments and debate they lay down their own set of standardized laws, which become the foundation of today's modern game. Written by Nathaniel Creswick, left, and William Prest, right, the rule book of 1859 is the first official set of rules and laws for the game of football and defined the inventions of a corner kick, throw in, free kick, crossbar, and fouls. 1860, first inter club game. On Boxing Day in 1860, Sheffield FC plays the first inter club game against Hallam FC at Sandygate Lane thereby becoming the first and oldest local derby in global football. Sheffield FC won this match 2-0. This legacy has lived on ever since, with both clubs competing against each other in a friendly match at amateur level every year. 1863, English Football Association Sheffield club members are instrumental in the formation of the English Football Association. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for second part, in next video we will tell you about managers and football stars of Sheffield FC. 
1866, first inter-city match. The club plays its first inter-city match with London City at Battersea Park. The sight of the Sheffield players butting the ball with their heads reduces the London players and fans to fits of laughter. Heading is born. Picture, map of Battersea Park. Furthermore in this year, the club travels to the first ever away match at Nottingham. 1867, the world's first football tournament The world's first football tournament, the Uden Cup was played under Sheffield rules in 1867. 1872, first international match. Sir Charles Clegg, also known as the Napoleon of football, a regular feature on the Sheffield FC team sheet and one of the club's greatest pioneers, plays in the first international match between England and Scotland. In 1890 Sheffield's famous son becomes chairman of the FA. 1878, the first match played under floodlights. On October 14, Sheffield's Bramall Lane ground hosts a match between two sides pulled from local players. It was the first match in football history to be played under floodlights. The experiment in nighttime football was a great success, with approximately 20,000 people attending the legendary match at Bramall Lane, now the home of Sheffield United FC. 1885, Introduction of Professionalism Its decline from the top echelon of football began with the introduction of professionalism in July 1885, with the amateurs of Sheffield failing to compete with professional teams, losing heavily that year to Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest, and Notts County. After the legalization of professionalism, Sheffield FC suggests to the FA the creation of a cup exclusively for amateur clubs, namely the FA Amateur Cup. Sadly, in this year, on February 10, William. 1904, Sheffield's historic victory. Sheffield FC celebrates their finest hour by lifting the Amateur Cup. The team won the final against Healing, 3-1, with a crowd of 6,000 supporters seeing Sheffield's historic victory. 1905, First Football World Tour. The Pilgrims, an amateur representative team, to the US and Canada. Frederick Houghton Milnes, a talented and well-known Sheffield amateur player, was involved in that first tour. Milnes was part of the Sheffield FC team that won the FA Amateur Cup in 1904 and was subsequently the moving spirit behind the Pilgrims. It was reported that the Pilgrims were specially selected by US President Theodore Roosevelt, who was conducting a campaign to eliminate brutality from American college football by increasing the popularity of soccer. The Pilgrims Tour of 1905 represents